Number one story to talk about is this. Have you guys seen this? I'm not sure if some of you know who this guy is, but this is pretty big within my sphere of flipping life. Um, Taxstone has been convicted of manslaughter, man. 2016 shooting at T.I.'s Irving Plaza um, concert. Most of you might know him. Taxstone was like a... Was like a was like a pioneer, I think, in hip hop podcasting. To be fair, he was the first sort of like gangster kind of road guy from the hood who kind of started doing podcasts before Gillian Wallow and all those type of dudes. But for some reason, he ended up getting into like a back and forth with a prominent artist around that time called Troy Ave. And because Troy Ave is pretty garbage, but also has the ego of Kanye West, they immediately started bumping heads. And it kind of went into trolling. He went into kind of goading online and just and just spilled over into the streets. They ended up bumping into each other at a TI concert and things went left. Um, the story goes, Taxstone, no, Taxstone had a gun. They get into a fight. Tori Av takes the gun off of Taxstone and then uses it to shoot at at, at Taxstone. Taxstone somehow manages to shoot back and hit um, Troy Av's bodyguard and also a close friend called Banger and kills him. And obviously he turns into a whole shootout inside the arena. And there's actual footage of it in CCTV of Troy Av basically holding the gun, one-armed, shooting back at Taxstone in the club, walking towards him. So it was a pretty crazy sort of affair. But Taxstone has been in, has been on remand, I think. He's been on... Yeah, he's, he's basically been in... No, he's, he's been... um He's been awaiting trial since like the, f the thing happened crazy amount of time yo big up richie i appreciate it wsp as addies and baddies eaters held you up <laughs> your late buddy scared you deep into the beer and cat fun to early before the weekend here is a start to replenish the funds yes brother big up richie appreciate you everybody in the chat thought they lost me innit? you thought i went into a, you thought I, I disappeared into a hole but nah, man, you can't stop me. I'm always out here, always out here. And usually, anyway, if you want to, this is this is usually, um, what you call it? This is usually me giving away the secret sauce. But if you want to judge, usually, if you want to judge, for those of you guys who go out and you know where I'm going, if you want to actually judge whether or not I'm going to turn up, just check out my flipping Twitter. That's the main place to check if I'm actually going to turn up. If you don't see any activity on there, then you know most likely I've gone dark. And if I've gone dark, then I'm obviously in the weeds. But usually if there's some activity on there, I'm usually going to be about. Maybe I'll be late and stuff, but, you know, I'll try and keep that to a minimum. But yeah, um, let's read the story anyway because it's pretty crazy. So it says as follows. Taxon, the hip-hop podcast host who shot and killed a man and injured other at a TI 2016 concert in New York City, Irving Plaza, um, uh, Plaza Back was convicted of manslaughter jury today. A New York State um, Supreme Court found Taxstone, whose real name is Daryl Campbell, guilty of manslaughter in the first degree, two counts of assault with the first degree, one count of assault with the second degree, and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. Him being a felon and having a weapon, that already is like, I think in the state of New York, isn't that already like five to ten years or something? If you've got like, if you're, if you're a felon and you've got a gun. Jesus Christ, he's going to get football numbers, isn't it? The incident stemmed from a few Taxon and rapper Troy have had. Troy Ave was wounded in the incident and his bodyguard, Ronald McFarter, was killed after being shot in the chest. Two others were shot in the incident. Troy have sued the venue in Live Nation over lack of security, while fans in attendance sued the venue and claimed they were trampled amid the chaos after the shots were fired. So I'm assuming with this verdict, Troy Ave will probably get a pretty decent settlement from Live Nation too. It's, it isn't Live Nation the same people that are being sued by um, Drake of the Rulers family? Or am I mistaken? Drake of the Rulers family is suing somebody, right? Who are they suing? Drake of the Ruler family lawsuit. Who are they suing? I forgot. Is it Live Nation too? God damn it, bro. Yeah, they're suing Live Nation. Crazy, isn't it? So they're going to be paying out some... So Live Nation are like terrible when it comes to like managing... All they do is ad flipping, you know, ticket fees and booking fees on tickets. In terms of ensuring people's flipping safety and, you know, especially in the world of hip hop where there's a lot of people with beef and whatnot and rival gangs and stuff, they're not really there to kind of upkeep care and whatnot, even for the patrons, not even for the artists. The people that are going to be there are going to be caught in a crossfire. So there's some two big settlements probably coming off the back of this, you would imagine. Um, anyway, going back to the flipping tax zone article, um, Daryl Campbell was convicted of killing a man and shooting three others during a tragic and deadly confrontation in the packed um, New York City music venue, said District Attorney Alvin Bragg said in a statement, in addition to severe, seriously injuring his rival and killing his rival bodyguard, Mr. Campbell shot innocent bystanders and put hundreds of other lives at risk. We will vigorously prosecute anyone who commits this type of deadly violence. He's going to get so much, so much time. 
Sensing will take place in April 19th. So yeah, man, Taxstone, honestly, was a legend of his time. Way, way, way ahead of his time, in my opinion. But he really did let um, a feud with a, you know, with basically an artist online get to crazy, crazy levels. Like he should have never let it get to this point. Um, I understand at the time, you know, and still to this day, Troy Ave can be a pretty annoying uh, person um, to kind of interact with and to kind of get along with. But, you know, he's just, he's an artist in the day. He's, he's a little bit, I won't say on the spectrum, but he's just a little bit odd in general. And it's not a crime to be bad at rapping. It's not a crime to make terrible music, even though you think it's amazing. He's a little bit delusional. That's not a bad crime. But for whatever reason, Taxstone and him didn't get on their butted heads and then end up being deadly. And, you know, the bodyguard Banger ended up losing his life, which is obviously um, horrible. So RIP Banger. But bloody hell, what a way for this to end, isn't it? I think he's been on a, he's been arrested since 2019. 20, and he only got sentenced now. God damn it, bro. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, he's going to get football numbers, I'm assuming. So there's no even point of saying free tax stone. It just kind of is what it is, isn't it, really? Um, but yeah, mad for him. 